All right, we are here with one of the original artists of the original Brianna Taylor mural, uh, who has already come down to do repairs, um, you know. So it actually ended up being a little bit easier than, you know, could have been anticipated on my end. Uh, you know, what, what did it take to, uh, to fix the mural? Um, man, I, uh, well, I came down this morning and, uh, cause I had the tarps in the back of my truck. I forgot to bring them back last night and, uh, I actually slept from eight o'clock last night till eight this morning. So I was on for like three days and got about eight hours sleep, uh, doing this one. So, uh, I went home and crashed last night and, uh, woke up and realized it was going to rain today. So I ran down here so we could clean everything up and get the tarps on and stuff and saw, see I got my own picture on this. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, I'm, uh, I, I think I was less upset about it than everybody else because I realized that this paint's like totally indestructible. Um, so it's, it's very forgiving, but I think just the general disrespect is kind of astounding. And, um, I, you know, I think it's really special that everybody takes it very personally and, and you know, like, it sort of just becomes such an iconic uh, thing here. And, you know, that, that touches my heart. I really appreciate everybody loving it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's off, it's cool. So it basically just took like a little bit of like diluted paint thinner and, and it came right off. Well, right? It's, uh, I actually uh, had my, uh, well, I usually high, use high temp reducer to clean this stuff up, but I happened to have my COVID killer yep. in the car and uh, it was that easy. So um, perfect. there's still a little bit of res residue in between the uh, texture of the paint, but I'll clean it up later. Yeah. No big deal. So she'll be um, headed to the Speed Museum yep. here and, uh, in well, a couple weeks. Couple weeks? Yeah, I think uh, it's Is that a, is, is it going to be permanent or temporary? Temporary. Exhibit? Temporary exhibit? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, um, honestly, I might do a separate live with you at some point just to kind of talk about that if you want. Okay, surely. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, appreciate you. I'm going to be working in the meantime. I'm going to refine this one, and uh, at some point I'll be more, like, candid about intentions about this, but the idea is to uh, donate this to the Mammoth Collective nonprofit and then do an auction. Uh, to raise money to get the mammoth open so we do repairs and get the mammoth open so we can have a community resource a building so we can do stuff so. well appreciate everything you do man thank you appreciate it y'all have a good night yep so uh originally kyle gordon posted some uh pictures of the defacement of the brianna taylor mural and uh I ended up coming out doing a quick live about it just so that people could know what happened. Uh, and before I could even leave, uh, Mr. Conaway over there showed up and uh, took care of it. Uh, you know, he said, like you said, there's a little bit of residual kind of in that area, but he's going to be able to clean it up pretty easily. Um, so, shortly. And soon, the original mural will be back at tip-top shape. Uh, it will be displayed at the Speed Art Museum uh, in an exhibit dedicated to Brianna Taylor uh, in the near future. Uh, I'm going to try to sit down with uh, Conway and Aaron over there uh, and discuss that a little bit more in detail because, uh, you know, it's pretty exciting. Um, but the mural is safe, so I just wanted to update everyone and let them know. Uh, so beautiful day, everyone. Beautiful day. Uh, but Jared Wright, Wright Heart Media, signing off. Stay strong, stay safe. And they have tips, and they can